Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to put your phone into recovery mode when you don't have a power switch. So what you're going to do first is you're going to turn on your phone. I'm going to plug in my USB charger and then press down on the home and volume down key. And the screen is going to pop up. I'm going to simply press volume down to restart the phone. Once I restart the phone, I immediately press on the volume up and home key. What this is going to do, and then after you press it, you can let go once you see Samsung Galaxy S3 logo. The reason why we do that is when you press the volume up and home key, you make it go into recovery mode. And here we are. We're at recovery mode. Awesome. Now, if you don't have a touch-based recovery menu, say you have the default recovery menu, which most of you guys will, um, you can't really select anything because you don't have a power key to press on to select an item. So, what I've done is I've removed the plastic button. As you can see right here, I removed the plastic button so now there's a hole there's a hole in my phone and what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna simply use two wires and I'm gonna use this as my power switch so these wire this wire right here is gonna be my power switch now I'm gonna show you how to remove the plastic button right here the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take off your battery cover take out your battery, uh, take out any sort of memory cards or SIM cards that you may have and there's 10 screws around the phone uh, unscrew every every sc screw so there's 10 screws around the phone remove those, once you remove those screws you can take out this plastic cover and you can take out this you can see this uh, area right here uh, this area right here we're just gonna unlatch that from the logic board this right here is the logic board so we're gonna just unlatch it from the logic board so we can remove it like that and now we have another latch which is right here and right here we're just going to unlatch this one right here and we're going to unlatch this one right here so as you see these two things should be unlatched from the logic board which is the turquoise color thing and down here we're going to unlatch this final piece I mean not final we're going to unlatch this piece right here just use your fingernail unlatch that now the last thing we're going to unlatch is, in, is the antenna. I'm just going to unlatch that. So basically, we're going to remove the logic board. So once you unlatch the antenna, we're going to... There's a screw right here. There's a screw right here that we're going to unscrew. And this screw right here is on the logic board itself, so we have to remove it. Once you remove that screw, you can remove the logic board. Flip the logic board over. So as you can see, once you flip the logic board over, you have this area right here where the power switch once was. Now this right here, you see two contacts, one right here and one right here. Basically what we're going to do to turn on the phone is we're going to take a copper wire and connect one end to one end of the wire and the other end to the other end like that 
and doing that will turn on the phone. So in order to do that, basically, we're going to have to remove the power button, the outside, the outer power button, right here. We're going to have to remove this one right here. So just take your screwdriver and just poke it out from the inside. There we go. And once it comes out enough, you can just take it out with your finger. So once you re remove the outside power button, you should see it leaving a hole in your phone that looks like that. Now once we remove this power button, we can now put the logic board back in just put it back in once you put the logic board back in just reconnect the antenna right here just going to reconnect the antenna we're going to reconnect this right here We're going to reconnect this one up here, the top one. And we're going to reconnect this one right here. So this right here and this right here, these two things right here should be reconnected. This bottom piece should be reconnected. And the antenna should be reconnected. Take that screw that you removed from the logic board and just put it back onto the logic board. Once you put the screw back on, uh, take your speaker, which is this thing right here, put it back on, and connect it back to the logic board. Once that is finished, So once that is done, you can put back your plastic cover, your plastic frame, uh, onto your phone again. And place in all the 10 screws that you removed. So just attach, uh, put the screws back on that you attach. There should be 10 screws that you removed. So you put back. 10 screws onto the phone. Once you put the screws back on, you can put back in your memory cards and your SIM cards that you removed. Now you can put back in the battery. Now make sure the battery has enough charge so that your phone will turn on. In order to select an item on the custom recovery menu, on your recovery menu, you basically just take 
the two ends of the wire. Now you can get this wire at like Radio Shack or online on Amazon. I got mine on Amazon. So, and you just insert the wire into the hole. And the key is to have the two wires on the two sides of the hole. So when I do this, it sort of looks like this. Because there's two metal pieces. There's two metal pieces. Uh, one about right here and one about right here. That when you put two wires across of it, it basically means the power switch is being pressed. So basically we sh we're shorting the area. They call this shorting. We're shorting the area where the power switch was once once was. So we are making our own power switch basically. So you just keep on trying it until you get it. And it'll take a while. Um, it'll take a bit. So you just you move on to an item you want to select. Oh there we go. So basically I was moving the wires around until it finally touched the two metal plates and made contact with them and it registered as a power switch press. So basically I got into this menu and yes I want to wipe the catch. Yes I want to wipe. I do the same thing again. I put the two wires on the two sides of the power switch just like that so you can see clear and just keep on moving it around until you can get it there you go see you just keep on moving the wires around until you finally get it so yeah that's how you use the recovery menu all you need is a wire and all you need to do is get into recovery mode use the wire to select